presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. It's a star-spangled day, and there's no better way to spend the 4th of July than enjoying America's game. For our nation's birthday, let's celebrate with family, hot dogs, and a slice of apple pie while the halos provide the fireworks. Angels and Rays next. Fourth of July from St. Petersburg, Florida. The Angels coming down from Boston after dropping two of three. And today from Tropicana Field, they kick off a four-game series against the Tampa Bay Rays. From inside the Big Top, we welcome you back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West, along with Mark Kubiza. I'm Victor Rojas, and today Mike Sosha will hand the ball off to Nick Tropiano. Certainly good numbers in his 10 starts this year, and he's coming off the disabledist after coming off a triple-A to make the start today. Yeah, Victor, he's just throwing the ball so well before going on the disabledist for the Angels. One of the most consistent starters, certainly when you think about what he has done on the road. 2-1 and one with a 2.63 ERA on the road. He's got a pretty good fastball. We'll sink the fastball. It's around 89 to 93 range, but his changeup, a plus changeup, gets a lot of swing and misses with it. Also a curveball that he changes speeds very well. So for me, against his team, against the Rays, got to use that curveball, got to use that changeup, but Tropiano does so. He should be effective here today. And those numbers, you talk about what he's done in 10 starts, 3.21, but what he's done on the road is the most important thing for me here today. Tampa Bay Rays have struggled this year as has their pitching staff. Matt Moore, however, is on the mound for the Rays, and he's got good career numbers against the Angels. We're just about ready for baseball here in St. Petersburg. Sit back and relax. can bring you the lineups and the first pitch when we return. This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Hyundai. The 4th of July sales event is going on now at your local Hyundai dealer. Visit buyhyundai.com today. By Jack in the Box, the Portobello Mushroom Buttery Jack is back. Taste it before it's gone. By Mercury Insurance, on a mission to save you money. Log on to mercuryinsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And by the Jeep Renegade. Find your inner Renegade and reach your highest potential with an EPA estimated 31 highway miles per gallon.
my family back home in LA and I miss you guys and to my brother and his kids in Killeen, Texas. Can't wait to see you again. Go Angels. This is Corporal Hall. I am currently deployed the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit aboard the USS Wasp in the Atlantic Ocean. Happy 4th of July. To my wife Paige, I love you and light up the halo. Hope you're enjoying your 4th of July and uh, thanks to all the uh, military men and women serving around the world and uh, a chance to if they get a chance to listen to our broadcast we thank you for your service and uh, happy fourth to all of you that and was, your families that was super cool for absolutely them to, to shout out played up that halo hopefully we get a chance to do that this afternoon thank you for all the men and women serving and protecting us allow us to enjoy this fourth of july it'd be nice to be outside under the sunshine here in uh, central florida but uh, on the gulf coast but uh, we are indoors here at tropicana field we'll take a look at mike social's lineup for the angels game number 83 at 33 and 49 unil escobar will lead things off cole calhoun getting the afternoon off so mike travel bat second he'll play center albert pools at dh cj crone at first johnny Givatella at second jeffrey Marte gets a start in left field once again jeff bandy behind the plate Andrelton Simmons is the shortstop, but Shane Robinson gets to start today in you know, right field. He will bat ninth. They take on the 27-year-old left-hander native of Fort Walton Beach, Florida, by the name of Matt Moore. And Matt Moore, good fastball, 89-94 range. An occasional cut fastball, though not as many as it in the past. Curveball solid, very good changeup, too, for Matt Moore. My go-to is to be successful against Moore today. Get that heater middle up. He will make some mistakes out over the plate. 16 home runs allowed. And don't chase that break ball. It's a very good one, especially when he's ahead of the count. Check out the Rays defensively here behind a bat more. You've got Dickerson, Geyer, and Susan the outfield from left to right. Longoria, Miller, Forsyth, and Morrison from third to first. And our old friend Hank Conger behind the plate. And Longoria over at third base. Two-time Gold Glove winner back in 09 and 2010. 980 fielding percentage this year. Second best amongst AL third baseman Adrian Beltre at the top. Has turned 13 double plays also I have always loved the way he prepares as far as that third base position he works on ground balls usually before games and batting practice working on his reflex on the knees working left to right with his hands to be able to knock the baseball down it's been a tough season for the Tampa Bay Rays as it has been for the Angels the Rays just got swept in a four game series here by the Detroit Tigers the Rays coming into this one at 33 and 48 they are bringing up the rear in the American League East Yunel Escobar ready to lead things off. Former Ray, hitting 318, three home runs, 22 runs batted in. Four hit game yesterday. Three singles and a double, two runs batted in. His second four hit game of the season. First one today is cut on and fouled straight back. Hitters so far this year against Matt Moore, though. On 01 counts, 472 batting average, 17 for 36 with three home runs allowed when put in play on an 01 count. Tells you who will generally come right back with a fastball after being hit 01. Bond on the third base side, Moore off the mound, picks it up, fires first low throw. Morrison can't come up with it, ball trickles away. And Yunel will be safe at first base. It should be a base hit there on a on attempt by Escobar play well by Moore get off the mound very quickly He's a left hander you're going to go towards that third base side the low throw that's an error on Moore it's a tough error it's a bang bang play 49th error committed by the Rays and travel bat here with a man on and nobody out Got it, 325 with 17 home runs, 54 runs batted in. Went hitless yesterday. A couple of walks, picked up an RBI, but had his nine game hitting streak snapped. Cuts through the first pitch fastball. Seen that a uh, little bit more so here of late. Short lead for Escobar at first. And that next pitch is upstairs. One ball, one strike. Moore making his 17th start. Four and five and a 4.67 ERA. Tommy John surgery in April of 2014. He's got six plus innings and five straight starts. The last two starts, he took uh, no hitters into the fifth inning. One against Baltimore, one against Boston. It's Baltimore, he eventually gave up five runs. 
six and two thirds against bosses last start up no runs in seven innings as it falls behind here two balls and a strike. And real good numbers in his career all on the road though, three and oh with a one point five two. His last start against the Angels though was back in 2013 when that fastball was consistently running up there ninety three to ninety seven range. Two balls two strikes. Moore's name has been brought up quite a bit. We'll continue to hear a lot more names over the next couple of weeks now that we're into July. The uh, trade deadline coming up. Rays had some arms that they could move. Escobar reaching on the error by Moore on the bunt down the third baseline. Travel the 2 2 count. Pujols on deck. Ground ball left side. Longoria's got it. He'll go short play. That's the only play they're going to get. With the tire Escobar for the first down. In my Hyundai Fourth of July, going old Don McLean. We're going American Pie, using the entire field. And that's important against Moore because again, he will throw fastballs in, break balls in, but also tries to elevate away. You have to use the entire field, especially for somebody like Paul Holtz and Trout, drive the ball. To right center field. All right, on home runs, you got to sing the uh, bye bye American Pie. Oh, line. I'll get All you right. covered. I got you covered. <laughs> so Trout on board, one out, reaching on the field of choice. Albert hitting 252. 15 home runs, 56 RBIs. One for three game yesterday with a double. It's 11th of the year. Angels had 10 hits. Made some mistakes on the base paths early. And uh, the bullpen struggled to keep it close later on. Speaking of the bullpen, the Angels did make a move. Jose Alvarez sent down. Make room for Nick Tropiano's making the start today. To at least just seen now the bullpen. There's Trope. All teams today wearing the uh, Stars and Stripes uniforms. Foul tipped into the mid, one and two. Yeah, that was a high changeup. If Albert stays back, that's the pitch you can drive out to right center field. A mistake. A couple of nooks and cranny in this ballpark on the outfield wall, but 315 down the left field line, 322 down the right, 404 to straightaway center. Bearing heights on the fences. One, two. Reaching for that one. Cal remains at a ball and two strikes. Forsyth, the second baseman, shading toward the middle. Big hole on the right side. Trump, once again, with more on the mound. Pretty good lead. Yeah, you can steal a base against Moore if you guess right. Times it'll play about 1 3, 1 3, 5, which is a little bit below average as far as times to the plate. His best move is when he steps off quickly and throws over the first base. Lifts one out toward shallow center field. Forsyth drifting out. He's calling for it. Two down. Albert expanded his strike zone there. It's Matt Moore. Frustrated. Pitch up and out of the strike zone. Chased it. Baseman, Moore gets pop up. Gets second out of the inning. Two outs, Trout at first. Here's Crone. Monster game Saturday. Yesterday ended up going 0 for 4. 282 average, nine home runs, and 42 runs batted in. 
or one of those guys on the mound from a mechanic standpoint that just makes it look effortless. Fastball down the way. At times have little David Price in as far as not on the yeah. follow through on the fastball, then straight up recoils. Think of the exact same thing after the last pitch. Crow skies went out the left field. Dickerson is there. And the Angels get a man on and leave him stranded. We'll head to the bottom of the first, scoreless. Canna Field, no score. We'll take a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Race, game number 82. Logan Forsyth at second base, leading things off. Brad Miller at short, Evan Longoria at third, Logan Morris at the first baseman, Brandon Geyer at center, Stephen Souza Jr. in right field, Corey Dickerson at left, Osvaldo Arcia, the former twin, is now the DH, and Hank Conger batting ninth, doing the catching. As they take on, Nick Tropiano is making his 11th start, 3 and 2 record, and a 3.25 ERA. Tropiano with real good numbers so far this year on the road. We talked about that in the opening. Three and two mark this season, 3.25. My go to is for Trope to be successful today at the drop. Change up for outs. He's got a very good change up and a split finger also. Low fastball strikes. Occasionally will make some mistakes upstairs. Keep that ball down and get some quick ground ball outs. You want to rename this place Tropiano Field, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Well, he throws a great game. We will do so. In honor of him. Yes. There's Logan Forsyth, the second baseman, to lead things off. He will look at a strike. Nine game hitting streak for Forsyth, hitting 304. 16 doubles, two triples, six home runs. 19 runs batted in. Spent some time with the disabled list. The uh, hairline fracture in his left scapula, forcing him onto the DL. The Rays had, had their share of visits to the disabled list, as have the Angels. Two on count. Rays 15th in batting average as a team. They're fourth in home runs with 110. They've actually hit 30 more home runs in the Angels, but they've scored a lot fewer runs. 326. That brings up the rear in the American League. Three one count. He's pulling off a little bit on that breaking ball, falling a little bit towards the first base side of the pitching mound for Tropiano. And you'll see that on occasion. It's very important for him to keep his front shoulder closed enough where he can stay middle part of the plate and then down and away on his breaking ball. This one's fouled off. That was much better. Full count. Yeah, we talk about that with hitters flying open, front hip, and that shoulder flies open. But same thing for a pitcher. Tropiano, he has good balance over that pitching rubber, but that front shoulder staying in longer to allow him to work downhill 
That one much better for Tropiano. Three two all the way and that's drilled out towards center field. Child moving back on it still drifting and out of the track here at Tropic County field. There's that Tropiano field. Uh, there it is. One out. <laughs> Check out the Angels defensively. Marte Trout Robinson in the outfield. Escobar Sim is Giovatella Kroll in the infield and Bandy behind the plate. And Giovatella has done a much better job defensively at second base this season. The improvement as far as his fielding percentage much, much better this year. 985 been to four hours as compared to last year. 978 has also turned 43 double plays. By the way, Trout drifting back towards the shark, uh, the Ray Tank. Is going to be able to see for track going out to center field. Here go, Brad. Brad Miller, the shortstop, hitting 244. Seven home runs and 28 RBIs. Has an 0 1 count. I think their goal always against Miller is to stay in that outer half of the plate, keep it down. His power, he has 11 home runs this year, is on the inner half of the plate, especially on a fastball inside. Old school, no batting gloves. Florida native out of Orlando, but Clemson University. He fouls this one back, one and two. Well, you can see the difference in that swing on the fastball away. He's already stepping out, trying to pull the baseball late on the fastball away. I don't remember him the, having that leg kick like that. If he did, it wasn't as pronounced as it is now. Second round pick of 2011 by Seattle. One, two. Check swing. He went around. Yes, he did. Down goes Miller. Two down. And Victor, with the leg kick you mentioned there, it would be very difficult for him, especially when he gets that foot down, to be able to have coverage on the outer half of the plate and or a breaking ball. Committed to his swing, clearly crossed the plate. Second out of the inning, punch out for Tropiano. It tells you he's looking inner half of the plate now. A lot of times you think you have to show in. I don't think you have to show in. Go soft away, fastballs down and away, break the balls in the dirt. Against Miller throughout this game. Base is clear for Evan Longoria. Third baseman comes in batting 278. Takes a breaking ball for a strike. 18 home runs for Longoria. 45 runs batted in. No balls, two strikes. Trippiano does a nice job of changing speed with his breaking ball. A lot of times you think and look at it as it's the slider. He changed the speed on his curveball, a little bit different break than a normal 12 to 6 on a curveball. This one pulled the left field, it's a base hit. Went down and got the off speed pitch. A two out single will bring up Morse. It's a pretty good piece of hitting, really. A breaking ball down and away. Went down and got it. Tracked that one very well. Tropiano upset with himself, especially ahead 0-2. Even though it's in a lower part of the strike zone and down, you actually have an opportunity to bounce that potentially with an 0-2 count. So Tropiano from the stretch for the first time with two outs here in the first. And here's Logan Morris in the first baseman. First one's off the plate. Danny DeMuth, by the way, calling the balls and strikes. He's the crew chief at Hickox at first. Ben May at sec second. And uh, Mike Estabrook at third base. The umpire and crew for this four game set. <laughs> one on one. Second time these two teams have met. They met in early May at the Big A. And the Rays swept that three game series. Tropiano pitched in one of those games. Ended up taking the loss. Gave him three runs on seven hits and five and a third. Had ten strikeouts though in that game. Two walks. Oh. 
Morrison. Skies went out to right field. Playable for Shane Robinson. And he'll make the catch for the third out. That's 10 strikeouts, one shy. A big career high. Went to the second with no score. Driver's seat brought to you by Kia. The Angels have been very good on this Independence Day. Last eight games, seven and one record. Batting average of 377, averaging eight runs per game on Independence Day. The fireworks with the bats. Giovatella, Marte, and Bandy for the Angels here in the second. Johnny lines went out to center field. Brandon Geyer is there to put it away. Round number one, Geyer playing center field with Kevin Kiermeyer on the disabled list. You're seeing some pretty aggressive swings against Moore, and that ball was hit very well by Giovatel on first pitch. About a little over 68% of his first pitches to right handed batters or fastballs. <laughs> one pitch, one out, and that'll bring up Jeffrey Marte getting the start once again. Left field. And he will take upstairs. Jeffrey's batting average down to 228. Four home runs. 12 runs batted in. Fouls this one back. Arte ended up hitting just 203 in the month of June. 0 for 8 so far in July. <laughs> he has the ability, Matt Moore, to throw his curveball for strikes, but when he's ahead of the count like he is right now, he'll bounce that curveball. One two breaking ball. That's a called strike three two down first strikeout for more. Every game matters to the Angels summer pass is now on sale. The summer pass is good for all 17 Sunday through Thursday games in July and August including games against the Yankees and Red Sox with the upper deck pass for only forty nine dollars. You can save all summer get yours today at angels.com slash summer pass. A shot of Gooby on the paddleboard earlier today. Oh, yeah. Good shot, man. Work in progress. Incredible balance. Jeff Bandy fouls the first one back. Back to back starts for him behind the plate. Over two yesterday with a 
hit by pitch and a walk. 255 batting average, a couple of home runs, 10 runs batted in. Oh, it's a pretty good life on his fastball early on in this game. And one of those modified deliveries from the full windup, almost as if he's in the stretch position. Very similar with David Price throws. We saw that yesterday with Sean O'Sullivan. Through by 175 strikeouts back in 2012. And he takes a cold strike three on a fastball, and it's a one-two-three inning for Matt Moore. We'll head to the bottom of the second, still scoreless. Independence Day USAA honors those who have served and all of our service members at home and abroad. Happy Independence Day. We are indoors at Tropicana Field. Nick Tropiano back out of the mound making his 11th start. We'll face Geyer, Souza, and Dickerson here in the second with no score. Two out single for Tropiano. That's all he allowed in the first. Nothing more. Brandon Geyer will take a strike. The center fielder hitting 264 with seven home runs. <laughs> 17 runs batted in. <laughs> and that one, this is it. It's one ball, one strike. Geyer is a guy that uh, has a closed stance to begin with, and where most batters will step toward the pitcher, he steps even further across. And that means you would think he'd have a tough time with the fastball inside. He's looking to drive the ball middle to middle away, you would think, with that swing. It also leads to uh, a lot of hit by pitches. He leads the American League right now in hit by pitches. As a matter of fact, he has 51 career hit by pitches. He's tied with Carlos Pena for the franchise record. Outside. Two balls, two strikes. As a matter of fact, Pena did it in 2,971 plate appearances. Geyer has 918. Who was it? <laughs> the infielder for the Montreal Expos. What was it? Ron Hunt? He used to get hit with a lot of pitches. He was an infielder with the Expos back in the day. He used to be right on top of the plate. Got hit all the time. Full count now. Geyer with more 
HBPs with Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, Ted Williams, Hank Aaron, Rod Carew, and Dave Winfield. It's got to feel good. Yeah. It's a, one of those stats you really uh, have to earn your way, <laughs> earn your way on that list. And he gets jammed, pops it up on the third base shot. Escobar moving over near the dugout and uh, runs out of room. This one on top of the dugout. That's one way to earn uh, your way on base and yeah. get your on base percentage up. Ron Hunt. He had 243 hit by pitches in his career. Yeah, hit 50 times one year. And this one's lifted out toward left field toward the corner. Marte moving over. Remember, uh, not familiar with playing left field all that much. And here in this ballpark with the uh, white ceiling. Yeah. Becomes an adventure, especially in day games. Yeah, you got to make sure you never take your eye off the baseball. As you drift either right or left or back, you got to keep your eye on the baseball. See right there, just trying to track the baseball, even though he's working towards that foul line, and then at the last second has to go back just enough, but still track down to get that first out of the inning. So what's Ron Hunt? 50 times? 50 times in 1971 with the Expos. Means he would have been a teammate of Bill Stoneman at that point, right? That's right. Mr. Nono himself. Yeah. Because he was a member of the Expos when he <laughs> Gave up the pinch hit home run to my dad in the All-Star game. <laughs> I'm sure he's listening back and he's proud oh, of that ball. Yeah. <laughs> he's never shy about that story. No. He oh, tells he's the best. He's a great storyteller. Oh, he loves he tells his story in years following that when he came to the American League where you know when they play in Kansas City and they would throw that up on the scoreboard as trivia as my old man's coming to the plate he'd be in the bullpen he called down to the dugout and put me in I want to drill this son of a gun <laughs> you talk about a wall scraper of a home run <laughs> but it looked like it was 450 feet though yeah I remember those games watching with Ron Hunt on at the plate and against all those years against the Phillies and getting hit with pitches and screaming thinking all right why don't you get him a little bit better than this reaching out and get that arm out over the plate to get hit by a pitch and Ron uh, spent his whole career in the National League so I never I never got a chance to watch him the child of the 70s I was in the American League with my old man watching the Royals and stuff. Three one to Souza. This is a shot through the right side. Beats the shift. So one out single puts a man on. Corey Dickerson is coming to the plate. Don Baylor was another guy that comes to mind. He got hit by a lot of pitches himself. But you always apologize when you hit Don Baylor, though. I didn't mean it. The groove got hit 267 times. 35 was his best year. That's it. That's it. 15 shot of Ron Hunt. Come on, Groove. We had a three game series where we hit him three games in a row, the exact spot on his arm, and he didn't flinch on any of them. That's when we knew we just hoped that he would go down the first base and not charge the mound. That's when you hoped you uh, had stat cast at that point just so you could measure the ricochet off his arms. <laughs> <laughs> down the dirt for ball one. Exit velocity off the forearm. <laughs> Dickerson hitting 215, 13 home runs, 34 runs batted in. Left fielder. Another hit that is geared up to the fastball in this raised lineup. Tropiano has had four double plays turned behind him this year. Came over from the Rockies in an offseason deal. Jake McGee, the lefty reliever. The four players part of that deal going the other way. Eighth round pick in 2010 by the Rockets.
Two balls, no strikes. Dickerson last year, 304 for Colorado, 10 home runs. 31 runs batted in, just 65 games. The outside corner. I mentioned that batting average for Dickerson did 395 in 23 games at Coors Field, 257 on the road. The dangers of uh, falling in love with a hitter from Coors Field or from the Rockies organization, making sure the splits work out. Good action count here for the Rays. Tropiano sensing that. Tropiano with four pickoffs this year, never had any in his career before this season. Two on pitch. Dickerson lines one out to right field, chasing Robinson back. He's near the wall and he'll make the catch. Sousa back to first base. Gave it a ride, but just not enough lift. Stays in the yard for round number two. And on a fastball, that's what he drives very well. Just missed this one. Back to the wall. Robertson comfortably gets back at the wall, makes the play, gets it in quickly. Almost enough tail at the end of mm -hmm. that fastball. Yeah, if that stayed Off straight bat, middle, yeah. that was that was gonna go up. Dickerson is very, very strong. Speaking of strong, here's Arcia, the former Minnesota twin. Claimed off waivers on the year. 242 average, five home runs, 16 runs batted in. This will be his ninth game with the Rays. He's got nine for 25 since coming over. Command spotty for Tropiano through 33 pitches, 19 strikes, 14 balls. This one jacked down the right field line, and that is foul. RCA always geared up for a fastball. All speed pitches out in front enough. Pull that one just foul. Very strong. Hits the ball very well the other way, too. He can get a fastball middle down and hit that ball out to left center field. Tantalizing power with Minnesota. 14 home runs in his first year, 97 games. The 20 home runs in 103 games in 2014. Low batting average. Will strike out quite a bit. Blocked by Jet. Two on count. Able to move the body over very well on this break of ball in the dirt. Balls, one strike. And there's dangerous counts right now for Tropiano. Fastball count. Marcia looking for a fastball here. Got the stars and stripes uniform. Looks like he's still playing for the Twins today. <laughs> Raised the uh, alternate jersey, actually, that baby blue one. Well, the Rays, somewhat of a disappointment this year, along with the Minnesota Twins. There's a lot of enthusiasm up there in the Twin Cities, thinking that team was going to carry on what they did last year into this season. It's been a struggle for the Twins. Same thing with the Rays, obviously with the Angels themselves. As far as the win percentage is concerned, the Twins 
and the worst at uh, 333. Then the Angels at 402. Rays at 407. Billy Cash's second season as the manager of the Rays. A lot of optimism coming in the season from a lot of writers about this Rays team. Nice play. Yeah. Two hands. Make a play. Steven Susan was on the move, so he'll head back to first base. To the left of us. Archie had to play left handed batter. Crone will play behind Susan. It's going to be off for the next pitch. Hank Conger on deck. 3 2. Out back. See that coach there for RC is trying to drive the ball the other way. A fastball away at 91 for Tropiano. Tropiano has a change up any split finger fastball. A split finger fastball might be a very effective pitch going down and away now. Especially out there, fastball away. You, know, you got guys that uh, the left handed pull happy guys. Certainly open up that side of things. Souza again takes off. And now it's foul back. Souza getting a nice workout between first and second. And he had the field turf here with the dirt infield. Same thing up there, Rogers Center now in Toronto. Much better now with the dirt infield as opposed to just the dirt uh, around the bases. Arcia strikes out, swinging, and the second is in the books. We'll head to the third. Eight, nine, and one coming up for the Angels. Still no score. Moore back out on the bump for Tampa Bay. He's coming off a one, two, three second in which he struck out to Marte and Bandy both looking. So it'll be Simmons, Robinson, and Escobar. Two strikeouts, no walks, no hits allowed. Escobar reached on an error on a bunt at the uh, third base line to lead off the game. Moore got charged with the error. Simmons pops this one up. Middle of the shortstop back pedaling out. We'll put it away for out number one. Hey, every moment matters during the 70s themed weekend that's upcoming. Angels taking on the White Sox right after the All Star break. On Friday, July 15th, it all begins, and fans in attendance that night will receive a groovy rally monkey courtesy of Jack in the Box while supplies last. Visit angels.com slash promotions to get your tickets today. Here's a groovy Wave Runners. 
Would have been awesome if you'd taken the uh, rally monkey with you on that wave run. I know. The promotion. Actually, I forgot it. Remember last we were high. talking about it. Yes. <laughs> He's with us. Shane Robinson takes a strike. No Cole Calhoun today. He's getting the day off with Moore on the bump. So Shane gets a start in right. 224 with a home run and five RBIs. third baseman as that ball got on him in a hurry. Yeah, we talked about that earlier today as far as the defense for the Rays, how much Longoria works on his reflexes at that third base position. Well, he needed all that quickness to make this play. And that's our at t high-speed replay. The prep step ready. The real drive. Baseball by him, but catches it. The quick reflexes for the two-time goal goal real the third base of Longoria. Oh, the real is super quick on the reflexes from Longoria. Oh yeah, you watch that replay. The eyes just follow the baseball the whole way. I mean, it's great watching him. Like tomorrow, we'll be able to see that how much he works on that. He'll be on his knees and they'll hit ground balls and line drives at him just to react with his hands. Knowing at third base, that's what you have to have those quick hands to make a play like that. Borderline pitch. Moore doesn't get the call. Evens account at one and one. Escobar 0 for 1. Still surprised that Matt Moore was given an error on that bump by Escobar. Two on count. Go with throwing a couple fastballs in a row in the inside corner against Escobar. Strike zone, full count. Chat on deck. Three two now. Escobar lifts one down the right field line, slicing away from Souza Jr. And he leaps up. Ball looked like he jumped off his glove. Hopefully everyone's all right down there. Souza going over the wall. Good effort though yeah. by him. Jumping up the last second as he gets close to that wall. Trying to track where the wall was, leaps up off the glove, and then eventually into the stands. <laughs> Little girl's underneath. <laughs> she took cover. Yes. So, uh, big smile on her face. She's, she's able to right. laugh about it. Yeah, that was good. Battle. Escobar here with the Rays, 2013 and 14. Now originally with the Braves get traded to Toronto. Three seasons with the Blue Jays, two with the Rays. Last year with the Nationals and now this year with the Angels. 
And his names are bandied about as well. So he's a potential trade target. All fastballs. And yep. why not when you've seen some of the swings that Escobar's had against him? He's been late staying inside. But eventually, though, one of those fastballs is going to drift out over the plate the more you throw inside. You would think he would have him set up to throw a breaker ball down and in. One of these fastballs has a chance of drifting out over the plate if he continues to throw him inside. Looks like he's going back in again. This one away and it's shot to right field. Souza moving back on it, reaches up, it's over his head. One hops the fence. Escobar is on his way to second and he is in there with a two out double. Just like that, that did drift out over the plate and he drives it hard to right field for a double. 20th of the season. See Congress setting up in. You got to reach back across the plate and a good swing by Escobar looking to go the other way. And just over the head of Souza, Jr. in right field. So man is scoring position for the first time today, and it's Trout coming up. Mike Reach on the fielder's choice in the first. Trout, real good career numbers here as far as batting average coming into the game here at the drop. 408, the 405 batting average for Trout here. One ball, one strike. Hank keeper now one near the plate. Play. Conger wanted a high fastball and say gets a low fastball able to keep that in front of him. So you want to go fastball upstairs again. Big rip foul back. One and two. Try with a 364 batting average on high pitches which is the sixth best in the majors and they're trying to go upstairs against them. With the familiar sound of the cowbells more cowbells here as Christopher Walken would say. Got with two strikes. Most hits in the American League with 49. And then three Red Sox just below him. Saw that in Fenway. Trout very comfortable behind in the count with two strikes. Big lead for Escobar at second. And Trout fouls this one back. That's a pretty good hack. Fastball, middle part of the plate, upper part of the strike zone. Foul this straight back. Talk about being on a baseball. That had a chance to go a long way. Breaking ball up the middle, knocked down by Moore. Gets away from him, and he's got no play. Escobar ends up at third. Ground ball right back up the middle. I think with the speed of that baseball off the bat fooled more. Not hit quite as hard as normal for Trout. See, so he had time to react and not able to make the play. Interesting, get, Trout gets a base hit on that one. But it seemed like a more difficult play on the bunt play by Escobar. He got an error. Once again, with two strikes, Trout a base hit. First and third for Albert. Two outs here in the third. Yeah. 
Hopper popped out his first time up. Takes upstairs. Little rally for the Angels here in the third inning. It all started with Escobar and his prolonged plate appearance. Eventually led to the double out to right. Now Trout with an infield base hit. Took something off. And that's one thing it's hurt Matt Moore this year. That big inning, that big swing with a couple guys on base. I mentioned earlier, 16 home runs allowed. Coming in the game and 96 in the third innings pitched. Alberts drives one out to left center field. We'll stay in the ballpark. Geyer puts it away, and the Angels leave two off. Went to the bottom of the third, scoreless. on this 4th of July. Hope you're enjoying your time with your friends and family. Hey, folks, in recognition of this July 4th weekend, Fox Sports Sports is proud to team up with The Mission Continues, empowering veterans who are adjusting to life at home and finding purpose through community impact. Visit foxsportssupports.com to learn more. And Tropiano will face 9-1-2 and two for the Rays here in the third inning. Hank Conger to lead things off. Tropiano with two strikeouts, no walks, two hits allowed. Total of 40 pitches thrown through the first two. Hank will look at his strike. 196 average for Conger. Five doubles, three home runs, and 10 RBIs in his first season with the Rays. Always an entertaining fellow. And yeah, one of our favorites. Two and one. Great Albert Pools impersonator as a base runner. Yeah, and that's how he went down the first baseline, went straight down. Was it a bunt? Yep. He smiled forever on that one. <laughs> that's yeah. pulled foul. Two balls, two strikes. Out in front of a change up. <laughs> two, two. Called strike three. Conger knew it. One down. Out there, change up, painted that fastball outside part of the plate. 
Good shot by Jet Bandy framing that pitch. Cut that glove right there. Third strike out of the game for Tropiano. Top of the order now, Logan Forsythe. Forsythe, though, for one with a fly ball to center. Fastball on a fastball count, but had enough movement for Forsyth to be late on it. It's a good movement on the fastball for Tropiano. His changeup has been solid, break them all the same. Only hits allowed for Tropiano. A couple of singles, two out single in the first, the one out single by Souza in the second. Two balls, two strikes. Velocity seems to be good so far. I mean, uh, these are the things you kind of worry about. Guy spent some time on the disabled list with a little shoulder issue. Breaking ball. And so far, consistent around 91, 92. Fastball will range from, the, depending on the two seam, four seam fastball, 89 to 93 range. There's payoff. Ground ball toward the hole. Simmons to the backhand. A little bit of a bobble. Good going on, though. It still gets him. Two down. Well, when you look at that, you put it in perspective how long of a throw that is for Simmons. It's a slight little bobble, but still recover well with that arm strength he has. On the backhand, picked it right up with the glove and quickly fires across. He has that over the top throw, so that way the ball will not run into the runner going towards first base and gets a lot on it. No stress. A lot of guys you see uh, start stressing, start peeking up toward the runner. He knows who's running, knows how much time he's got. And he can throw that baseball back 95, 98 across the diamond. <laughs> Miller, tardy on the fastball. He struck out on the first. That's a perfect example. You were talking about in the first at bat of the off speed pitch, the guy wanting to pull, and that right hip starts to just kind of float down that first base line, trying to yank something. And it's very difficult to have coverage on that middle to middle away, on, especially on something off speed. Up and away, he could still hit the ball to left field. Down away, fastball, or certainly off speed away, very difficult to do so. Two balls, two strikes. Dustin Ackley of the Mariners, now the Yankees. A similar issue, fall in love with pulling, you know, in college. The big league's a little bit different. And playing in Safeco Field, if you're going to hit a home run, you have to hit the right if you're a left handed hitter in that ballpark. At least it used to be. Yeah. Brought the fences in. There's more home runs hit at Safeco this year than any other American League ballpark, which is a complete surprise. Three two Miller shoots a foul. Magoria on deck. Still feel that he has it set up for an all speed pitch going down and away on a 3 2 count. 3 2. 
Miller fouls it back. Another fastball. Staying firm away. At least trying to anyway. And late on the swing. Miller. Miller went down swinging as I mentioned in the first inning, but it was on an off-speed pitch. Could not hold up on a breaking ball low. Off-speed out toward right center field. Trout racing back, and this one is gone. A home run for Brad Miller, and it gives the Rays a one-nothing lead. Talked about needing to be down in a way, but this was away, but it was upstairs where he can get his arms extended. You see the target set up by Bandy, then he's got to reach back across the plate. Tropiana knew that he made a mistake there. Change up up. 12th of the year, 29th run batted in. So the Angels play from behind here in the third. And here's Longoria. They haven't had a base hit to left field with two outs in the first. Pops this one up behind the plate. Bandy gets rid of the mask. And they'll make the catch for the third out. But the race strike for a run on the Miller Blast will head to the fourth. Angels down 1 nothing. And Miller, bottom in a third. C.J. Crone going to lead off here in the top of the fourth. It'll be Crone, Giovatella, and Marte here in the fourth. Batting average risen each month for C.J. Crone. Crone hit a fly ball to left field in the first. He's 0 for 1, just missed it. More with a couple of strikeouts, no walks, two hits allowed, both occurring in the third. What a series he had in Boston. 8 for 15 with three home runs and nine RBI, including a grand slam. More at 47 pitches, 34 strikes. Two balls, one strike. All things considered, not a bad crowd here at St. Peter's Crown on Monday, 4th of July. Sun is out outside. It's 88 degrees outside. Humidity. Yeah, they were expecting 14,000 plus. Pretty good crowd. Three one. Bounce it back. 
as usual a lot of Angel fans here too. Early. No batting practice for either team. The Angels got in. Uh, I should say too late, but after an almost four hour game in Boston. That's probably what they're at the bed around midnight just Go after back. that to head to the yard here for day game. Always comes up early. Sneaks up on the field. Three two. Oh, reaching for it on an off-speed pitch. We bounce this one to second. Look out. It was really cool earlier today. Tim Linscombe signed a ton of autographs for fans. He now played some catch in preparation for his start tomorrow. Here's Tim right there. He signed autograph after autograph. Great to see that. Today was his scheduled turn in the rotation but like so the Angels deciding to uh, bring Tropiano in Shasin's spot in the order would not have occurred till Wednesday so they bump Shasin to the pen put Tropiano here and give Weaver and let's go both an extra day Johnny jumping on the first pitch for the second time this one out to shallow center field that's Geyer putting it away and now it's time for Tools of the Trade, brought to you by Ram Trucks. Matt Moore today, especially against Marte and Bandy. Goes a high pitch right around letter high, freezes him for a call third strike, upper part of the strike zone, and then follows it up with a low fastball at the knees to freeze Bandy. So he's expanded the strike zone very well early on. For Matt Moore, we talked about his stuff. He's always had a good fastball, locates it well, but also a good breaking ball. He's located all pitches well so far in this game. Jeffrey struck out looking in the second. Matt Moore making his fifth career start against the Angels. 3 0 to 1.52 ERA. Born in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. His dad. Air Force to age six. He moved to Japan. Okinawa to be exact. Spent some time there at the high school in New Mexico. Rays drafted him in the eighth round. His dad still works for the uh, Department of Defense. Always liked my conversation with Matt Moore. Such a polite young man. Down with the special ops H 53 helicopters, the Air Force. That hit him right in the thigh. That had some sound. All right, a 1 2 fastball. He's pitched inside a lot in this game. That got Marte pretty square. Just above the knee. Oh, that sound. Yeah. You know, we we're talking about Don Baylor and the ricochet. The ricochet on that last one. Yeah. It was unbelievable toward that raised dugout. You can see just, just the slightly above that knee area. And that's one of those pitches that would be hit by. You're going to feel that as the game progresses. He's trying to walk it off right now. He's a tough guy. See right here exactly where it gets him. And that got him firm. It's the fifth batter that Moore has hit this year. He didn't want to make a mistake inside and drifted out over the plate, similar to we did to Escobar. And that time he pulled that pitch across and gets him above the knee. And what's a good velocity on that one, too? That's a 94. All on the bone area around just above the knee. Bad ale for one, struck out looking down the second. Seven batting hours with his two home runs against left handed pitching. Oh. 
Well, so often you see that, especially even still relatively young pitcher. And Matt Moore, you hit a batter, and all of a sudden the next two pitches way off the outside corner. Clearly not done on purpose. But for him to be successful, he's going to try to pitch inside. And so far, two pitches out over the plate. Now in a very good hitter's count for Bandy. Great out. Go back to the Marte hit by pitch though. One, two. It's almost as if overthinking the scenario. You got a guy who's been struggling late on your fastball. Almost trying to set him up or something. And so many times, how many times have we said that there's no need to set up at that point? You already have them set up. You're ahead of the count. Ooh, Certainly have to keep an eye on Marte as the game progresses. Three one to Bandy. He loops this one down the right field line to foul territory. Morrison giving chase, not going to get there. Full count, two outs. Marte will take off on the next pitch. Anderson Simmons is on deck. And Morrison holding on. Marte in a 3 2 pitch with two outs. A lot of room on that right side of the infield now. And it just missed inside. Ball four. First free pass issued. So a hit batter, now a walk, puts two men on with two outs. And two guys we had just shown that Moore struck out looking. Marte and Bandy now both on base, one hit by pitch, now a walk. Bringing up Simmons, who's been swinging the bat very well of late. Doing that last homestand into the road trip into Boston, 400 batting average in his last 11 games. Almost get that batting average up to 250 now, 249 for Simmons. Breaking ball for a strike. Taylor's one for two with men in scoring position. Handleton popped out leading off the third. 0 for one. And that is drilled out to deep left field. This one is going to go off the wall. Our table score. Bandy's going to be stopped. Simmons in its second with an RBI double. We're tied at one. Simmons continued that hot swing and that fastball was right down the heart of the plate. And he drives that off the wall. Stayed back on a well. We talked about it in the pregame show, getting that two taps down as far as that front leg and the timing for Simmons, much, much better of late. Just miss. Hitting his second home run, picks up his 10th double, 14th RBI for Anderson Simmons. In that two out, one two hit by pitch. Seems to have rattled Matt Moore. He was on a roll. Robinson drives one out to center. Geyer has a beat on it, and he'll put it away for the third out. But the Angels do tie it up, a two out double by Angel and Simmons. They're tied at one as we head to the bottom of the fourth.
Telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Subaru, making the world a better place. That's why they created Subaru Loves to Care, Subaru's commitment to a healthier community. And by El Pollo Loco, try the new Fire Grilled Chicken Burritos today. Game one of a four-game series between the Angels and the Tampa Bay Rays. We are tied at one as we get the bottom of the fourth inning. Morrison, Geyer, and Souza to face Nick Tropiano. Tropiano with three strikeouts, no walks. Three hits allowed. Two singles and a home run. Logan Morrison, fly ball to right field, the first. Full shift on against the left handed batter. He'll look at a strike. Chase that little two seam fastball. And while he hasn't gotten into a whole lot of trouble, it's just that command is just enough off where the innings haven't been quick for him, where he can just get quick outs, get himself back in the dugout. That's out toward right field. Shane Robinson back. He's near the wall. He'll jump up. It doesn't matter. It's off the top. And it's gone. A home run. Second base umpire Ben May with a call. And on a 2 1 pitch, down and away, Morrison goes down to get it for this ninth of the season. Be able to get his arms extended once again. He does have good power when he makes contact. And that's running away. A little bit of the zone on the outside part of the plate. And just over that fence in the right field and the reaction by Tropiano was hoping he got away with that one did not do so Brandon. Geyer oh for one with a flop on the left Hitters count. And you mentioned it about Tropiano. I have had a couple conversations with Charles Nagy about Tropiano. He, he would like to see him trust his stuff a little bit more so to be able to get ahead of the count consistently, trust the movement on his fastball instead of being behind the count. Two balls, one strike. Talking to Charles, he really believes in the stuff that Tropiano has. He's got a good fastball with good movement. His curveball solid, change up and split finger fastball, but you have to believe in yourself when you take the mound and get ahead of the count. Now uh, 10 home runs on the year, this being his 11th start. 2-1. Two, two balls, two strikes. It's a lot of home runs for under 60 innings pitched. Yep. Especially for a guy coming into the season, didn't give up a lot of home runs. Averaging just over five innings per start. 2-2. Jack Swing. Went around. No help needed for Dana to mute the home plate umpire. One out. That was a solid break of ball from Tropiano. See right here, crossing the plate. Swing and miss on a good breaking ball. Two on Rays, one out. Here's Steven Souza Jr. Got a base at the right field, the second.
good fastball. No balls, two strikes. Sousa on his second season with the Rays. Pulls this one to third. Escobar has it. Two down. Pretty much right on cue when you look at the Rays, how they score runs, the home run. Now 112 home runs as a team. Two solo shots today. They've hit 30 more home runs than the Angels coming into play today, but they had scored 37 fewer runs. A lot of solo home runs. It would Clearly, a team that you know, they're really into the analytics. Don't mind the strikeout. They like the home run ball, and that's what they have done so far this year. But their pitching staff hasn't been as good as they anticipated. Kiermaier not available for quite a bit of time. Their center fielder, their fantastic fielding center fielder. Kiermaier on the DL with a left hand fracture. Dickerson skies went out to shallow center field. Travel's playing deep, so Simmons is back to And that'll do it for the Rays. But a leadoff home run by Logan Morrison puts the Rays back on top as we head to the fifth. Just three hits allowed. Simmons, a double, Trout, and Escobar also with hits. The double by Simmons in the fourth inning, getting the Angels on the board, but they still trail two to one. A couple of solo home runs for the Rays as we begin the fifth. Top of the order coming up. Escobar, Trout, and Pools. More with two strikeouts, one walk, and those three hits allowed. Now reached on an error in the first inning, doubled over the head of Susan right field in the third. It's 20th double of the year. Eventually stranded at third base. have two hits already in this game. His butt was a pretty good one given an error to Matt Moore. And the 
game batting average of 318, which tops amongst AL third baseman in batting average. Never seems to get cheated too with the swings. Well, and again, fastballs back in by Moore against him. Do a lot of them that last at bat before one of them drifted out over the plate. After a while, as a pitcher, you stay inside enough. One of those pitches are going to drift out, and that's exactly what happened. And Escobar made him pay for it. Two now. Foul on. And as aggressive as Escobar is, especially swinging early in the count, just 36 strikeouts, 285 at bats this season. Very difficult to strike out. Will make contact. 70 pitches, 47 strikes for more. Very effective in the strike zone. One down. That'll bring up Trout. And let's take on the Rangers Wednesday, July 20th at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a Mike Trout pocket T-shirt courtesy of Old Dominion Household Services while supplies last. Go to angels.com slash promotions. Get your tickets. The old pocket T-shirt, yes. Kind of first pitch changeup. You remember the trout was hacking first pitch fastball earlier in the game, which he doesn't do a whole lot of swinging the first pitch. Two balls, no strikes. A fielder's choice in the first, a single in the third. Good sequence by Moore against Trout. Missed a bad changeup for a ball. Curveball outside corner for striking a 94 mile an hour fastball away for a strike. Yeah, Trout, that batting average with two strikes, very, very solid. We showed it earlier. Count. Cool holes on deck. Breaking ball down a right field line, slicing foul. Trying to get another opportunity. Change the thought as far as what to attack Trot with. 
Looking another series of signs. But Trout sees so many pitches during the course of the and at bat. 4.41 pitches per plate appearance for Trout. Ball through the changeup. Almost got it a chase and it misses for ball four. It's a second pass, free pass issued by a ball. It's also hit a batter. Fifty fourth walk of the season for Trout. Just a couple behind Josh Donaldson. Leading the American League in that category with 56. Alberto for two with a pop up and a fly ball to center. <laughs> Albert's been hot of late, batting average over 400 in his last nine games, which he's hit in all nine. Good lead for Trout doesn't go and this one's foul back. Moore's only allowed one stolen base in five attempts this season though. But if you guess right, not real quick to the plate. Congress thrown at 19% would be base dealers. Guess right, you should be successful. That's his best move. That one he quickly steps off and fires over. That's his A move. Tells you he's sensing the trap may be on the move here. And this is bad against pool holes. Two balls, one strike. 82 pitches now thrown by four. Play here with one out in the fifth. Pools pops it up left side. Miller to the shortstop calling for it. Almost overruns it. That was way up there. Two down. First baseman, CJ Crone. So Trout's still at first. Here's Crone who's 0 for 2. Fly ball to left and a ground ball to second. with a run on three hits no errors have left five on base the Rays with two runs four hits one error have left two on breaking ball chopped toward the middle Miller can't get it to base hit travel turn and head to third bobbled out in left field track goes diving into third base but Dickerson gets the baseball back in the handles with runners at the corners now for Johnny Giovatello. High pitch there for Moore. 
Not over the plate. She gets that foot down. All speed pitch. Gets it by Miller. It's fun watching Trout turn on that afterburner as you got around that angle at second base and slides in the third, first and third. Gia Patello's had two pretty good swings against Moore, but nothing to show for it. Two baseballs hit hard to center field. Two pitches. Hope for two. John at third, Cron at first. Caught the inside corner on a breaking ball. John looking for an explanation from Dana DeMuth. Had one, one, two, three inning. That was in the second. Seemed like he was on the verge of following that up in the third before Escobar doubled. Trout single. And then the two out hit by a pitch in the fourth, kind of extending his innings and in that pitch count up. Breaking ball misses. Two balls, one strike. Last three innings, quite a few pitches after a very quick economical second inning, but this ninth pitch is 22, 20, now 23 already. Still not through this inning yet. This one's out to right field. Souza moves over. That's the third out. Went to the bottom of the fifth. Angels still down. Two to one. I'm just taking a look at all the little different looks you'll have in the ceiling area here at the Tropicana Field. The rafters, the lights, and the comfort of the air conditioning in this yard. 72 degrees, always. Unless the AC breaks down. Then you're in trouble. Yes. 75 pitches for Nick Tropiano through four innings. Four strikeouts, no walks. Facing Osvaldo Arcia, the uh, DH. Struck out, swinging down the second. So he's over one. That's 
ripped foul. Nice play down there. One ball would strike. Changeup, he's left up a couple times, a couple of the home runs. Well, the Rays on changeup, they kind of drifted out over the plate instead of going down and away. Tropiano in a hitter's count now. Trying to sink something away. A 3 1. High fastball, full count. Another payoff, and he walked him. Lead off walk. That's the first free pass issued by Nick. They bring up Hank Conger. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. So Archie is on board. Conger up. Hank struck out looking. He's the leadoff man in the third. First round pick in 06 by the Halos. Marcia takes off and didn't run those on. Fouls it. And the Rays don't do a whole lot of running, just 27 stolen bases. Caught 18 times as a team. That's pretty close. Archer going and standing up. We saw the coaching staff for the Rays looking at numbers. A lot of times they'll look and see. What the pitcher's tendencies are on certain counts to send runners. Sometimes Tropiano may be a guy that throws an all speed pitch, first pitch. Better chance to send a runner at that point. Two count on the Panda Crusher. Twitter handle Panda Crusher 35. Never a dull moment with Hank. No. This one's popped up. First base side. She have a tell him. Tiptoes back, makes the catch. One down. Top of the order now coming up for the Rays. Logan Forsythe. Second baseman's over two.
trying to work the wave here at the drop. Two balls, no strikes. Again, be checked on. We'll get that foot back on the back. Lead off walk for him. Count of 3 0. You know, six times in this game, Tropiano has been behind the count 2 0, now 3 0. Foresight. And you know what, good with a team like the Rays that have struggled offensively, you can get away with it, although he's given up two solo home runs today. You face a team that could swing it like we just saw up yeah. in Boston. And you might, uh, you might be in trouble. And yeah, speaking of a slugfest up in Boston, they were down to Texas 4 0 in the first, and they've taken the lead now 5 to 4. 53 strikes in 89 pitches thrown for Tropiano. Barcia is going here now in a 3 1 count. That's a number of home runs the Rays have hit this year now, 112. And a third in baseball. I think derived to 49 and a half percent of their runs via the long ball. Mets lead the way, surprisingly. Yep. Arcia takes off. This one's sky on the right side. Arcia alertly picked up the baseball, gets back to first. As you can tell, makes the catch for round number two. The Mets, Mariners, Rays, Blue Jays, and Orioles. We get to see Baltimore pretty soon. 24 pitches in the second. Two outs. Arce is still at first. And here's Miller. One for two. Struck out of the first. Holbert in a third. His 12th home run of the year. 29th RBI. count that now seven in the game for Tropiano it's the 20th batter that he has faced today this is a third of the batters he's been behind 2-0 Fastball into the knees at 91. Halo's out on the road this year, 17 and 23. It's after the weekend series loss to the Red Sox. Three more here in Tampa, and then three in Baltimore to wrap up before the All Star break. Halo's will uh, open up. After the All-Star break at home. Three balls, one strike. This 
So she going through a series of signs. Jeff Bandy. Arcia takes off. Miller takes a strike. But Arcia easily got down. That's What's Miller a, looking for? That's a firm throw. <laughs> that's Miller looking for a 3 1 fastball. Handles got the it. ticket. We got it. Took it. Yeah, right. 2 1 raise. of baseball. Seattle taking on the Houston Astros down in Houston. 1-1 in the top of the fourth. Cleveland taking on Detroit. Tigers have won six in a row. Cleveland has lost a couple in a row. And Baltimore in Los Angeles take on the Dodgers. A rematch of the 1966 World Series in which the O's swept the Dodgers allowing only two runs in that series. Palmer and Maui both shutouts in that series for the Baltimore Orioles to win the World Series. Marte, Bandy, and Simmons for the Angels here in the sixth inning. And Marte gets into one to deep left field, and this game is tied at two. Fifth home run of the year, 13th run batted in, and payback for getting drilled on a 1-2 pitch in the fourth. And aggressively swinging first pitch. The knee hurt, last at bat, now the baseball hurt on this at bat for Marte. And that swing right there, aggressively swinging. Marte, it's worthy of a Carl's Cam replay fastball. He's ready for a fastball in that one. Fifth home run. Oh. And way out. Marte ties it up. Jet Bandy swings through the first one. No balls, two strikes. Jet struck out looking in the second, walked in the fourth. More 92 pitches now. Looks like the Rays will start to get some action in the bullpen. The Angels have action in their pen. And Bandy gets into one out to left field. Dickerson racing back near the wall. And uh, boy, played awfully. And it goes off the fence. It's a double for Bandy. He will stop there. We talked about more having those big innings going against him. He's allowed 16 home runs coming in the game. A home run by Marte and nearly another one going back to back almost by Bandy off the wall for his third double. And the two guys that he had struck out earlier in the game looking have now been on base back to back. It bats hit by pitch a walk for Bandy and Marte last inning or last at bat and then a home run and now a double off the wall Marte home run double by Bandy. So nobody out Simmons up. Angleton 
doubled off the wall in left center field picked up an RBI the fourth. Tenth double 14th run batted in. Try to bunt his way on. Bunts a foul. That was a good decision. He was trying to push that bunt down the first baseline. Seeing Morrison well off the base and playing deep. Ramirez in the bullpen getting ready. That's Garden now. Ramirez was getting ready. Now they've changed things up. Halos have Fernando Salas in their bullpen. There's a bunt back toward the mound. Close plays to first. So the sacrifice will advance Bandy to third. Job there by Simmons advancing Banning to third base. Now going to bring the infield in for the Rays against Shane Robinson. Looking for a pitch elevated to hit deep in the air, the drive home Banning from third. Robinson a line out and a fly ball to center. Grounds this one over to third. Longoria's got it. Spins around. They've got Bandy in a rundown. Longoria's going to give it up to Matt Moore, the pitcher. And with a pump fake, gets Bandy for round number two. Nice play by Evan Longoria. Credit Bandy for getting a long enough rundown to allow Robinson to get into scoring position after not able to get the run home. And that good range once again by Longoria. Quickly feeds the ball. Conger at home. And again, Bandy did a nice job of getting, staying in that rundown long enough to allow Robinson to get in the scoring position for Escobar. Top of the order now, you nail Escobar. Escobar one for three. Double in the third. Struck out looking his last time up in the fifth. Struck him out with a very similar pitch right there. A breaking ball out of part of plate and elevated in the strike zone. Goodly for Robinson at second. Escobar cuts through the high fastball, one and two. Had a couple slow breaking balls, challenge him upstairs with the fastball. Essentially the last bat of the game for Moore. Next pitch will be pitch number 100. Trout on deck if Escobar can get a base hit here. By Jeffrey Marte to lead off the sixth, this fifth of the year, 13th RBI. The ties things up in two. Well, we see ready for this fastball. Marte, first pitch swinging, ties it up with a solo shot.
I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. On July 4th, 1939, Lou Gehrig delivered his farewell speech in front of a sold out crowd at Yankee Stadium. Nicknamed the Iron Horse for playing 2,130 consecutive games, Lou retired after being diagnosed with ALS. He was just 36 years old. Wow, you still get goosebumps when you hear that. One of the most memorable speeches you'll ever hear in any team, any sport, any time. Nick Tropiano on the bench, 95 pitches, five innings, four hits, two runs, four strikeouts, one walk. He's done. The 2-2 game here in the sixth inning. Fernando Salas takes over. Turn in and out. Who's in, who's out? This is Brad Miller who's at the play when Arcia got thrown out to end the fifth inning. Fernando pitching in his 38th game, 3 and 5 record of 4.97 ERA, 38 innings, 27 strikeouts, 11 walks. He's allowed eight home runs and 38 innings of work. And that's been a blade for Fernando. He was so effective early on, the first couple of months, but a lot of appearances. A lot of appearances, a lot of times getting up and warmed up in the bullpen. Zip and location of the fastball, not quite as crisp as earlier in the season. That is shot through the left side with the shift on, leadoff single. Exhibit A there, the fastball was upstairs. They pitched 12 games the month of June, went one and four, gave up 14 hits in 11 and third innings. So Longoria will bat with the man on. Miller, by the way, with his second hit of the ball game. Longoria one for two, base at the left and a pop up to Crone. Three on the left side, although Giovatella really more up the middle. Up high. Toward first, Crone will field it. That's a fair ball. Longoria retired for the first out of Miller to second. Fortunately for uh, CJ, saw the spin on that ball and charged it at the yeah. last second. Yeah, if he waits back, though, that's going to roll foul. You take that out, especially with Longoria at the plate. It's off the base. He comes in and cuts that angle off quickly. Good decision by CJ Crone. Logan Moore sit now up. Gray's first baseman, one for two. Homer to the fourth. But Miller now eight for 17 against the Angels this season. Taylor still looking for that first win against the Rays, swept early May at the Big A. 1 0 count. New left fielder Daniel Malvo's out there. He comes up firing. Miller is going to score on the single. And the Rays are back on top, 3-2. to two. Morrison with the second RBI of the game. And just jammed them. This flares that into left center field. Malvo charges it quickly. A lot on that throw is looked like Simmons was put himself in position to cut that off and fire home. Nava taking over for Marte here in the sixth. There's Brandon Geyer over two, fly ball to left and a strikeout. Both teams now with six hits. 
Both times the Angels have scored, the Rays have answered right back. Dyer lifts it out to shallow center. Trout coming in to make the catch. Two down. Susan Jr. coming up. Bought for two cam with a single back second. 3 2 raise. We're in the sixth. Halos in the seventh have Trout, Pools, and Crone coming up. Nobody warming right now. Garden was ready to go. I guess you could send more back out there. This high this year, as far as pitches thrown, 114. He's gone over the century mark, last four starts. Sousa takes a strike. That's a power coming into plate going against him, though. He's allowed 14 home runs against right-handed batters. Moore has this year. Of his 17 home runs. One and two, good location on that fastball. <laughs> now to Rosmo Ramirez playing catch in the bullpen. Fair ball. Morrison rounding second, headed to third. Nava overplays the carrot, being waved around as Morrison. The throw comes in to Escobar. The relay not in time. And Souza ends up at third base, and it's four to two. And break down the line of oh, the Jr. And just inside that chalk. On the full pen mounds. And once that throw got by Simmons, more difficult play to have at the plate. A double for Souza. He took third on the throw home. His 11th double picks up. His 26th RBI. Two outs and a man at third. Here's Corey Dickerson. Fly ball outs for Dickerson, the left fielder. Two off. Fouled back. One strike. The Angels have J.C. Ramirez now loosening. <laughs> Two 
runs in, snapping a 2 2 tie. It's 4 2 Rays. Off speed outside, he walked him. Charles Aggie's going to come out. Struggles for uh, Fernando Salas. Fortunately, continuing to roll here. And you notice a little bit of a drop in velocity on his fastball. Command of his all speed pitches also. At about 88 to 90 was consistent early on, 90 to 92, 93 range with his fastball. Marcia coming up. He's 0 for 1. He struck out in the second, walked in the fifth. Marcia pulls one foul. Seen that a couple of times today. Down in front. He's in that pull mode right now. Pretty close to being down the heart of the plate. A fastball tried to pull it. That pulled to right field. Robinson is there. And he'll put it away for the third out. But the race strike for two as we head to the seventh. Halo's now trailing 4 2. Comes the 0-2. That's driven out to left field. Going back on it is Hose at the wall. Gone! Drive home safely. And Trout, one of his three walk-off home runs in his amazing career so far for Mike Trout. Coming to the plate now, still against Matt Moore. They're here in the top of the seventh. Kicked off the fireworks early in that night. See if the Angels have something. In the seventh inning, Moore's back out for the seventh. Trout pulls Crone down four to two. Mike one for two, single and a walk. <laughs> Breaking ball missing down and in. Ramirez ready to go in the bullpen. It'll be a batter to batter situation for Moore. Oh, 
Rose Erasmo. Thought about pulling the trigger, lays off, borderline strike. The yeah, upper part of the strike zone still with good velocity on the fastball for more 93. Walks Trout here. He's going to be out of the game. If he gets Trout out, he'll still be in this one. Little flare foul by Hyundai Key for this game on this 4th of July. American Pie again using that whole field. So far, Moore's done a very good job as far as negating that. Couple good swings though. Marte a home run to left, a double off the wall for Escobar in right. Three-two to Trout, and that is drilled out to center field. But Geyer will make the catch. That ball was smoked. One down. Well, you can't hit a baseball any harder than that. Here's Albert. Albert 0 for 3. He's popped out twice to an infielder, once to center. One ball, one strike. Here's the one-two to Albert. Breaking ball. This is low. That's, that's a pretty close pitch, really, when that curveball crossing the plate. JC Ramirez getting ready for the Angels. He'll pitch the seventh. Two-two. Full count. front of that breaking ball 112 pitches for more 73 strikes three punch outs two walks a hit batter this is popped up seems like it's playable like Goria calling for it two outs Kevin Cash is going to come out and make a pitching change here. With two outs and nobody on, why would you do that? And to retire the two tough guys. Yeah, you would think going to well, go through that inning. Right? Moore removed. Ramirez coming on, raise up 4 2.
Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by the Chevy Drive Event at your Southern California Chevy dealers. By USAA Insurance, banking and investments tailored for the military community. And by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Two outs, nobody on, 4-2 Rays. Matt Moore is done after six and two-thirds, six hits, two runs, three strikeouts and two walks. Gives way to Erasmo Ramirez to face C.J. Krohn. Krohn will take a strike. Ramirez, a 26-year-old. Pitching in his 35th game, 7-7, seven and seven, 4.30 ERA. Fastballs, 89-93, slider curve change. See that slider right there from him. Good career numbers for Ramirez against the Angels. 2.50 ERA. It's over 36 innings pitched. Crow, this one foul and out of play. One and two. CJ one for three. Had a base hit in the fifth. Tipped into the bit, and that's the third out. The Angels go down in order. Seventh inning stretch time here in St. Petersburg, Florida, in game one of this four game series. The Angels trailing it by the score of four to two. We will turn things over as we honor America with the singing of God Bless America. We ask at this time that you please rise, remove your caps, and join first class petty officer Alex Kuhn as he performs God Bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains. To the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America. My home, sweet
score of four to two. Happy Fourth of July and hope you're enjoying your afternoon. See if the Angels can turn things around here in the eighth and ninth, but uh, it'll be up to J.C. Ramirez to keep it a two run deficit. This will be his fifth game with the Angels. No record. He's allowed two earned runs in four and two third innings so far. Angels uh, picking him up a waiver claim. Cincinnati Reds. He'll face nine one and two. Conger, Forsyth, and Miller here in the seventh. Hank swinging first pitch, pops it up. Jeff Bandy can't find the baseball. And fortunately, goes into the seats. He never saw it. Not at all. You know, sometimes you'll see that, especially in a dome stadium. Very difficult has that baseball, especially as a catcher. You try to look up quickly to be able to track that baseball, a difficult task. A little brighter in day games as well. No balls and a strike on Hank, who struck out looking into third, popped out of the fifth. Here we go, Hank. Oh, Ramirez has good life on his fastball. 96 to 99 range. And if he can develop a changeup, something off speed to go along with his break ball and that power fastball, he has a chance. Some special things out of the bullpen. He had a rare treat in that. Uh, Bear is also from Nicaragua. He had two pitchers currently on the mound, well, not simultaneously. That would be, uh, that would be, that would be interesting. <laughs> 10 pitchers ever in Major League Baseball as Johnny has this one. He never come from Nicaragua. He had two of them pitching in the same game. The Ross Moe and J.C. Ramirez. Retires Conger for the first down here in the seventh. And now it's time for the Quicken Loans Rocket Arms, which is going tomorrow. Jake Odorizzi on the mound for Tampa Bay Rays. Tim Lincecum on the mound one and two so far. Wearing that halo uniform. Odorizzi has been solid. 3.91 ERA for the Rays. There's Linscombe right there. We'll give him an extra day. And he's still battling, trying to get back. I mean, he only had three starts in the minor leagues, three starts now at the major league level, trying to build that arm strength, better velocity, control. Forsyth, the leadoff man, and second baseman's 0 for 3. Shoots this one down the right field line. Is slicing out of play. Robinson. Look at all he had. That family's been busy today. Clearing out of the way. Down goes four side, two down. Fastball from Ramirez. Number 13, the shortstop, has some pretty good movement on his fastball, also. Talk about the velocity he has. He has some good movement. This one over to second. Giovatella has it. And a one, two, three inning for the first time today for an Angels pitcher. Seven complete, four, two rays.
Patrick O and the Rays lead the Angels 4 to 2 on Patrick O'Neill asking you to stick around after this game for Angels Live. Hopefully the Angels can rally for a victory. I'll have Jose Moda for some top-notch analysis and get some interviews as well. I got myself a cowbell. Why wouldn't I? But I'm not going to ring it. Number one, I'm not a Rays fan. Number two, it would be against cowbell etiquette. That's right. You can only ring the cowbell here when a pitcher has two strikes on a batter or the Rays get a hit or a run or you're asked by Rays vision. Now, this is Christopher Watkins get the new owner of the Rays in 2006 liked it so much they got themselves everybody here ringing these cowbells because I got a fever Victor and Mark and the only prescription is more cowbell oh, you got you to do it you got to do it in the top of the eighth inning or the bottom of the eighth inning. okay if uh, I guess it looks like Jaleesha yeah. scenes getting ready so when she gets two strikes on a hitter you got to be the only guy ringing that cowbell okay I may get because you can't get ejected but I'm sure you guys I can ring it on the seventh floor all night though that's where you guys are staying by the way great song too by by the way Blue Oyster Cold. Giovatella Marte and Bandy for the Angels here in the eighth. Oh, Rosmo Ramirez came into the seventh and struck out CJ Crow, so he's gone a third of an inning. Ray's bullpen over their last 16 games, ERA over 10. Hasn't been as effective as it was earlier in the season. And those offense at times have been able to score runs late in games. Only down two. See the last 16 games. 11 home runs, too, and 42 and two thirds innings pitched out of the bullpen. Two balls, two strikes. Johnny, three fly ball outs today. Side and that'll sneak through for a base hit. Lead off single for the Angels here in the eighth. Real good piece of hitting by Giovatella. A breaking ball down. Didn't try to pull it. Stayed back and let it travel deep in the deeper in the strike zone. Base hit between first and second. A little slider stayed back on that one very well. That was the thought process there for Giovatella. Hit the ball that way, especially on a slider. Good swing. So Giovatella will advance to the scoring position. Probably end up being a pass ball by Hank Conger. That's what it is. Late movement, didn't turn the glove the right way. It goes off the glove for an advancement for Giovatella. Lifts one out toward left field. Dickerson back a couple of steps. Makes the catch. One out. Brings up Jeff Bandy. Hey, follow Angels Baseball live with MLB.com at bat. App stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat. Number one app for live baseball on your photo tablet. Number 47. Cash looking on to wonder if there was going to be a pinch hitter at some point at the lefty down in the bullpen. For the race, Cole Calhoun available also off the bench for Mike Sosha. Bandy one for two with a double. Camp Adrosian has joined Shasin getting ready in the Angels' pen. One ball, one strike. The 
Ramirez has allowed eight home runs in 53 innings pitched this year. Wanted two. His name's been banded around as far as a possible trade. Eight for the Rays. One, two. Bandy strikes out swinging. Two down. Challenging with a fastball down the heart of the plate. It's a fastball by Bandy. Number two, Hamilton Simmons. So it'll be up to Simmons to keep this inning going. Jim Attella standing at second. Anderson had an RBI double in the fourth, sack bunt in the sixth, one for two games so far. Ground ball up the middle, hit the mound. That's a second baseman, four side, nice play. The Angels leave a man in scoring position. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth, still 4 2 Rays. Don't miss the biggest stars in all of baseball together on the same field. It's a 2016 MLB All-Star Game next Tuesday live from San Diego and only on Fox. Jolicia Seen takes over on the mound. Sent to the bullpen to make room for Nick Tropiano. Chasin on the season two and five with the Angels. Ten games All-Star six and eleven part six point eleven ERA. 31 strikeouts, 25 walks in 53 innings, and he'll face Longoria, Morrison, and Geyer. First one's in for a strike. Chassin did have a, a relief appearance last year, September 27th, against the San Diego Padres, but this is just a second since 2010. Gordon lifts one out to right. One down. And with Logan Marston coming to the plate. Top tier play of the game brought to you by Arco. Got jammed a little bit, but strong enough to fight that into left center field for an RBI single for Marston. At that before that, had a solo shot. So two for three. Couple RBI for Logan Marston.
Pops this one up on the third base side, headed to the seats behind the dugout. One ball, one strike. If you ask it, why should seem to the, uh, the bullpen as opposed to sending him down while well, he's out of options? But he would have to. Uh, you'd have to designate it for Simon. Just one to keep him. If you need a guy that uh, can give you, provide you some length out of the bullpen, especially some of the struggles the Angel starters have had this year. And when he's been aggressive, he's been very good. Sometimes when you go down to the bullpen, you have to be that. That mindset, being aggressive, translate that back. They want to put him back in the starting rotation at some point. Two balls, two strikes. This one lifted out to shallow left. Now it comes in. Two down. Looking ahead to the Angels' ninth inning. Robinson, Escobar, Trout, 9 1 and 2. Dana Evelyn getting ready, the left hander. And now batting left field, replacing Jeffrey Marte. That left knee bothering him after the home run. The left knee contusion for Marte to leave the game. Now out in left field. We saw him in the last couple of innings. Figured that was going to be the case with Marte at some point, especially got hit as hard as he did with a 93 mile an hour fastball from Matt Moore just above the knee. Dribbler foul off the body. Brandon Guy, the center fielder, 0 for 3. Right hander Ryan Garden is getting ready. No balls, two strikes. <laughs> Too good of an O2 pitch for a scene there. One ball, two strikes. Guy reaching for it, keeps his head bat alive. Breaking ball way off the plate. Both teams with seven hits. Rays have a couple of home runs, solo shots, but Miller in the third, Morrison in the fourth. Morrison chipped in with an RBI single in the sixth inning. 
Steven Souza Jr. an RBI double that snapped the tie, give the Rays a 4 2 lead. Balls, two strikes. Played off pretty, a couple pretty tough breaking balls. Third out. Shasin with a 1 2 3 8. We head to the ninth. 9 1 and 2 coming up for the Angels. Down 4 2. Join your 4th of July with friends and family here in St. Petersburg. It's game one of a four game set and the Angels need a rally here in the ninth inning to avoid dropping this opener of the series. Robinson Escobar and Trout here in the ninth. Dana Eveland will come out and start the ninth inning with uh, two arms still getting ready for the Rays. Interesting play. Remember Alex Colome, the guy who racked up 19 saves for the Rays is now on the disabled list so they're trying to piece things together. Shane Robinson 0 for 3 reached out a fielder's choice in his last plate appearance. First one did for a strike. Rosmo Ramirez went an inning in a third allowed one hit struck out two and the rest zeros. Evelyn's fastball is 87 to 92 ring slider changeup. I think Cash was thinking that maybe Mike Sosha would have pinch hit. Cole Calhoun, maybe that bring him into lefty in. Breaking ball, the snowball balls, two strikes. As we were talking at break, if that's the case, they're kind of uh, wasting it by bringing an Evelyn in and let Robinson hit. Or maybe he wanted to keep Cole just on the bench and not even force the issue. 0 oh, 2. Robinson goes down swinging, one out. Big time break ball well off the inside corner. And swing and miss. So a situational lefty to get the first out here in the ninth. A lot of high fives for Dana Evelyn to get that first out and only out of the ninth. 4 2 Rays, pitching change.
start. The Florida native on in relief at Triple A this year, 15 games, 1 0 record of 2.31 ERA. And the 34th round pick this year in the big leagues, 11 games, 1 0 mark, and a 5.11 earned run average. He's got Yunel Escobar and Mike Trout, although action continuing in the Rays bullpen. Now Escobar one for four he had a double back in the third and Gardens fastball is 90 95 cut fastball curveball change up. It's the 34th round selection. Florida Atlantic University he was born in Clearwater grew up in Newport Ritchie Florida. With the Boca Raton for college. Fastball upstairs and it's two balls no strikes. Crowd here at the trap, knowing that their bullpen of late has really struggled. Three and one. Escobar fouls it off. Pull count. Trout on deck and Pujols should we get that far. That's a walk. It'll bring up the tying run. So he can ask for in the ninth inning and bring that tying run to the plate. And that Trout followed by Pujols now. Mike's had a one for three game, a single and a walk. Takes a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs against Trout so far. Talked about Trout though. Behind in the count, still very good numbers, including a base hit behind in the count earlier in the game. 338 coming into this ball game. Upstairs, one ball, two strikes. Top part of the strike zone. Two down. Just barely touching the upper part of the strike zone. On our box tracks, yes, in the zone though. A high strike, you're going to see more often called supposedly next year as compared to the low strike. Just above the belt. Certainly wasn't on the swing, it was on the location of the pitch. So Escobar at first will get a walking lead. Morrison way off. He now we'll take second. Albert went around. 0 and 1. He committed to swing at that pitch. And Albert has not swung at the first pitch a whole lot this season. <laughs> 0 for 4. Four fly ball outs.
Or the pitcher of record for the Rays, Salas for the Angels. Rays scoring twice in the sixth inning against Fernando. 1 1. That went up around Albert's neck. And then one and two. try that one again. Albert looking fastball got one, but it's very difficult to make contact when it's at shoulder height. Check swing did not go two balls two strikes and you're right they went back upstairs again. And when you see a swing like that pitch before you have to try it again and he almost chased that one. Albert chopping a foul. I think he's got it. Reset it. Do it again. When break a ball now, you would think he's going to try to go upstairs with a fastball out there with the breaking ball. Dart trying to pick up his first major league save. Albert pulls one down the line off the glove and right to the umpire falls back in Longoria's hands and that helps the Rays as it hit the third base umpire Mike Estabrook. It's a single for Albert and still a two run deficit. This ball was hit hard off the glove and then off of Estabrook and right back to Longoria potentially a play. Nothing Estabrook could do. It was the glove that forced that ball toward the umpire. Jim Hickey's going to come out and pay a visit. Gregorio Petit takes over at first base. He's the pinch runner for Albert. Again, even though Escobar was unable to score on that ball, the most important run really now is at the first base to be able to potentially tie it up regardless. But it, it kind of prevents Albert from getting to second, second base, base and getting that exactly. tying run into scoring position. But that's what a fluke do, play. Yeah, I couldn't do anything with that. Tried to get out of the way. That's one of those if you've got the wherewithal to spin around. That's and what throw they went to first. Play. Yeah. Because he hit it that hard and it got back to Longoria quickly. Well, and as a base runner, you're not running straight up the line as a normal ground ball. No. You're making the turn thinking that it's a double. Yeah, you're thinking doubles. So first and third. Two outs. Here's CJ Crone. What you're hoping for right now from CJ is to get a fastball first pitch and do some damage. Very effective on this road trip as far as the home run ball. Three of them on this trip. And he's looking for first pitch fastball. Got a cut fastball instead. No doubles defense by the outfield here for the Rays. A one pitch. It's down low, blocked by Conger. Houston Street loosening in the Angels' pen. Just in case Crone gets a hold of one. One one pitch. One and two. And that cut fastball in that zone for CJ Crone to crush. Tried to pull the trigger on it, let it go inside part of the plate.
One two from Garten. Upstairs. Even to count of two balls, two strikes. Escobar third, Petit, Tiger on at first. Now the 2 2, Petit takes off and Crone fouls it back. Pass ball off the inside corner. Scoring position for Crone. Petit again takes off. This one's popped up behind the plate. Conger can't find it. Here comes Logan Morrison. The Angels dropped the opener of this series by the final of four to two. Well, he had a chance. The guard picks up his first major league save. It wasn't an easy one for him facing Trout, Pujols, and then eventually getting. C.J. Crone to pick up his first save as the Rays win game one of this four-game set, four to two. Halos made it interesting late, but the two runs in the sixth inning allowed by Fernando Salas. The difference in this one is Tampa Bay takes game one of a four-game set, four to the final. Stick around. Angels live post game is coming up next.